Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a product manager on the Terraform team. Before I dive into workspace visibility, I'm going to start out by creating a workspace and then I'll switch over to viewing that data from the new Workspace Visibility Explorer page. The vault back dynamic credentials capability eliminates security risks associated with static credentials by removing them from the workflow entirely. So I'm going to provision this infrastructure without using any static credentials. Let's start out by taking a look at a variable set I've configured for some AWS credentials. I've applied it to a couple of projects for the front-end dev teams who need access to these credentials. I've already configured an HCP vault cluster and prepared it with an OIDC trust relationship using dynamic provider credentials. In this variable set, the TFC vault address, namespace, provider auth, and run role environment variables tell Terraform Cloud how to communicate with my HCP vault cluster. The remainder of these environment variables tell Terraform Cloud how to communicate with the vault-backed AWS Dynamic Secrets Engine. These variables also configure which vault and AWS roles are used during plan and apply phases. Notice that none of these variables contain any sensitive data like an access key. Now let's see how this enables a self-service workflow by provisioning a no-code module from the registry. A member of the front-end dev team can simply pick the module they want from the registry hit the Provision Workspace button, fill in some input values, name the workspace, and assign it to one of those front-end projects, and get their infrastructure without ever handling provider credentials. Now that we've enabled self-service and have securely provisioned infrastructure, let's take a look at how the new Workspace Visibility feature provides a single pane of glass for your Terraform Workspace data across your entire organization. I'm gonna walk through the new Explorer section of Terraform Cloud. In this initial launch, we're bringing visibility into your Terraform environment, including module, provider, workspace, and Terraform version information. Let's take a look at some of the details of that HashiDays demo website workspace that I just created. From the Workspace Explorer, I can see information about all the workspaces across my environment, including project name, ID of the latest run, module and provider counts, as well as a full list of modules and providers in each workspace. From the Modules Explorer, I can see a breakdown of similar information, but this time by modules. From this view, it's easy to identify all workspaces using a certain version of a particular module. From the Providers Explorer, I can see similar information, but for providers. And using this information, platform teams can effortlessly determine which workspaces require module or provider upgrades to ensure the security and consistency of their environments. From the Terraform version explorer view, it's easy to figure out which workspace is on an old version of Terraform so platform teams can notify those workspace owners to upgrade. We've also created a view for workspace health. Results of drift detection and continuous validation health assessments are collected in one place, providing a holistic view of the entire cloud estate. 